once the season finished and we'd, we'd kind of finished all the work, I got uh, got out of Europe and went, went back home to Australia, to Perth, and uh, thought about not coming back. I was having a lot of fun out there, and as I always do, did uh, nearly two weeks in New Zealand uh, for Mr. Hartley's wedding, and we did, uh, did some mountain biking and a little bit of training after that, which was really cool. Never done the North Island before, so really beautiful place. And then uh, did uh, yeah nearly two weeks in uh, in California as well. So yeah, did a, a, a three blocks in uh, three beautiful parts of the world. I mean, every destination was cool. You know, Perth, it's always fun. Um, just catching up with mates. You know, we just getting out, swimming in dams and driving buggies and all these sort of things, uh, and just being kids, that's always good. And then, yeah, New Zealand, obviously the, the wedding was cool. I was, you know, in Brendan's bridal party, so that was, uh, that was nice. And uh, the mountain biking, the mountain biking, we went to Rotorua, really famous place for that. That was awesome. I saw Mumford and Sons again, actually. So <laughs> yeah, that was, that was cool. <laughs> Simple things, you know, I get, when I'm back home, I realize, you know, friends, just being around my friends and that, um, and just the sun makes me happy. Um, yeah, coming back to Europe, I really realize how much the sun makes me happy. Yeah, cold weather makes me pretty mad. <laughs> yeah, three highlights would be Baku, Baku and Baku. <laughs> Uh, Baku was certainly one. Um, obviously, the race, the win, that was that was a, a real standout for me in the year. Austria, I enjoyed that race a lot. That whole weekend went really well, and to do it kind of in Red Bull's home, that was something I'd be wanting, you know, to do for a while. So it was nice to execute a good weekend there. Can I say a non-racing highlight? Like, because we did a lot of cool things away from the track as well. The American football we played in uh, in Austin was cool. So I love Austin already, um, and that was a, a cool experience. It will absolutely not be unlucky for some, but it will be the best. <laughs> uh, this is, I mean, a couple of things, obviously the, the Halos won more tires. I think we got uh, a couple more sets of dry tires for a race weekend now and one less engine, I believe for the year. So it's down to three, which, um, <laughs> yeah, will be interesting. I'll okay. be gentle. <laughs> yeah, you can feel a few things driving, like the characteristic of the tire. So it kind of felt like the overall grip was similar, but it comes in a different way. So like, for example, a little bit more when you turn, but then a bit less later, once you turn more, things like this. I've got goals that I want to achieve, but I don't necessarily say, all right, by race three, I want to have been on the podium already twice and had, you know, a pole position. I, I don't set goals like that. I guess, uh, I guess the thing for me is I just want to, you know, be true to myself and make sure I've prepared as well as I can before every race. And, and then I know uh, I'll, I'll get the most out of it. I've raced Paul Ricard, yeah, uh, in, in World Series by Renault, and uh, it's close to Monaco, it's convenient. Hockenheim I like, Hockenheim's a good circuit, I'm, I'm happy to have that back. Probably two, I've always been fascinated with two wheels, so to be like a, a motocross or a, a MotoGP rider, that would be awesome. Um, otherwise, yeah, musician. Uh, yeah, to be in a band or something, I think that's pretty cool. I recently got to know a little bit better Mumford and Sons and I've been, you know, I love their music for so long and getting to know them a, a little bit and, and how, how they travel and tour, uh, it seems like a pretty nice lifestyle. I've always wanted to be able to sing. Um, I mean, to play, an, yeah, probably guitar and sing, that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, I sing in the shower a lot. I just sing in the car, I sing everywhere but pretty terribly. So I wish I had the voice of a, a turtle dove. That would be beautiful. Will Ferrell, uh, let's say LeBron James and Sophia Bush. I guess I've missed being competitive. Um, 
you know, I, I'm, I'm not that competitive, I guess, with my friends anymore when we do things. I'm kind of past that point. Um, my job is competitive enough. So, yeah, having Max around keeps me uh, fired up. Not really. I've, you know, I felt, uh, I think the last, pretty much since I joined Red Bull, there's always been a, a bit of a weight kind of saving, you know, thing going on with us. And, um, you know, the regs changing a little bit. We Last year we were able to put on a little bit of muscle, but yeah, I felt like uh, each year I've managed well with, it, what, with whatever I've done. So I always try and change a few things, try and, you know, keep learning and evolving, you know, some things I'll do, but uh, nothing, nothing groundbreaking, just, just ticking along and, and understanding what, what my body's doing and, and doing what's right for that. On track, Sundays, you know, competing again, whereas Sunday used to be a blur. It was just all happening and it was like crazy and there's people and there's fans. Now I'm able to kind of still do what I have to do, but soak that part in. Other things I'm looking forward to, going back to Austin. Uh, yeah, just going back, I love it. Just getting some more life experiences. Yeah, traveling the world more and um, yeah, I'm sure I'll meet some new and interesting people, so. I, f I feel there's like a little, like a good intensity. Um, everyone's not getting too excited. It's like, we know we got, you know, some work to do if we want to really achieve what we want. So yeah, we all know we, we got some uh, desires to, to attack this year. I am, I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting in the car again. It'll be fun. And uh, yeah, just, I mean, looking forward to getting to Melbourne and start the racing, you know, testing. I'll be out in Barcelona, yeah, obviously the, for the first test and you get your head down for testing, but the, the real exciting stuff then will, will come in Melbourne. I believe so. Yeah, with not many, you know, rule changes and stuff, we, we improved the car quite a lot last year. So we've, I guess on principle, we should just be able to carry that over for this year and, and kind of keep evolving from there. So uh, we should be able to fight more often. Time will tell, but I'm confident.